ये है फीवर एफ एम थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग अस फॉर लिसनिंग टू अस दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल सेगमेंट मै वी हैव विद अस ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द मेडिकल प्रोफेशन ही इज नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर अजय एस शेटी ही इज लीड कंसल्टेंट यूरोलॉजिस्ट विद मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स यशवंतपुर एंड हैबाल थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग द टाइम फॉर बींग हियर फॉर टेकिंग अस थ्रू एंड गिविंग अस सो मेनी इंसाइट्स about not just laparoscopic surgery but also giving us all this information about kidney stones about urological cancers prostate disorders and so many pointers and tips on how we can take care of ourselves because i do feel that information is lacking in today's world at the same time doctor we are dealing with a problem of information overload i'm sure you get a lot of patients and even i'm guilty of this of looking up symptoms on google and coming to you with it uh, and almost everything leads to cancer but how do you deal with this doctor um as a physician and a surgeon i have made peace with the fact that i cannot stop a patient from looking up his symptoms right. or even researching about an illness that is near or dear have and uh, obviously like you said all of it leads down boils down to oh i have got cancer and stuff like that but this is inevitable in today's world people will google their symptoms so what i tend to do in my practice is whenever the question is relevant i you know i try to talk to them and i tell them that look there's so much information out there at your level sometimes it becomes very difficult to differentiate fact from fiction mm. So yes I'm not going to stop you from googling and if you have any doubts that are relevant I'd be happy to answer them but often times the the doubts are so eccentric and no way close to reality that you have to tell them to stop it well that's why I'm so very happy that you're here in person and we have a whole set of questions and today we are going to be discussing about renal transplantation or kidney transplantation let's start with when does one need a kidney transplantation kidney transplantation is necessary when your physician has told you that you have what is called end stage renal disease mm-hmm. again for the guys who google it it's called esrd what that basically means is that the kidneys have lost more than 90% of their filtration ability and that results in accumulation of all the toxic wastes and chemicals within the body so if you have reached a stage of esrd the only way to survive is to go through a procedure called hemodialysis which is a machine filtering your blood or to go for a kidney transplant and get a new kidney that will do that filtration job for you right what are the benefits of a kidney transplantation doctor does that mean no dialysis yes so the benefits are you are dialysis free if the kidney transplant goes well you are dialysis free you can live a normal life like any other person now dialysis will only do about f- to the best of its ability about 40 to 50% of the filtration job that the kidney can do mm-hmm. and it comes at a cost it comes at a financial cost a physical cost because there are a lot of complications that can set in and even emotionally one patient on a dialysis is an entire family suffering mm-hmm. so when you get a kidney transplant you're not just treating the individual you're taking care of the entire family lovely and uh, is it a complicated surgery per se uh, well yes i would say it is a technically challenging surgery because when you take a kidney out from one individual you have to ca- take it out taking extreme care that you do not damage anything and to take that kidney out and to reimplant it into the recipient requires a lot of skill that being said we've been doing kidney transplant surgeries for many years now and we have mastered the craft and most of our kidney transplant outcomes patients are dialysis free for about you know for a long long time that's great to know that we are in safe hands and at the same time doctor i believe there are different types of kidney transplantations what are they uh, there are two main types of kidney transplant one is called a living donor transplant and the other is a deceased donor transplant Now if you have somebody in our country only related transplants are legal so if you have somebody within the family who's willing to donate and that would mean your mother father your sibling your children or your wife who's not necessarily related but mm-hmm. she is married to you she can donate legally then that transplant would be called the living donor transplant but in our country where 
certain times donors are either not qualified because of medical conditions or are just not willing to donate, then the patient with kidney failure has to depend on a deceased donor, which would mean somebody who, when he's about to die, is his family is willing to donate those organs, then these patients have to depend on the disease donor for the organs. Wow. Since we are on the subject of organ donation, uh, doctor, what would you like to say? Um, what's the ground reality out there? And what should we be striving for as a society? We are talking about lacks. There are lacks of patients still waiting for an organ to start living normally. The waiting lists are in lakhs. So I urge each and every member here to register themselves as an organ donor. One can donate the kidneys. It's not just the kidneys, the liver, the pancreas, heart and lung, and of course, the cornea, which is the eyes. These are our organs that can benefit another person. And like I said, it's not just another person. It's the entire family. So I request each and every one out there who hears this to register themselves as an organ donor today because there is a big need for organs. Well, there's no better gift than a gift of life. So it's um, a matter of um, basics of us signing up to be an organ donor. Dr. Ajay Shetty, thank you so very much for spending time with us and throwing light on all these issues. Uh, of course, you can say hi to doctor at Manipal Hospitals, uh, Yashwantpur and Hebal. Uh, doctor has been around for over 22 years in the field of medical science and it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming in and giving us all these insights and explaining all of this in such a easy conversational manner uh, and by doing this a lot of information that one needs to know about uh, we spoke about kidney stones we spoke about prostate disorders urological cancers robotic surgery as well uh, sometimes until and of course somebody in the family is affected you don't really pay attention to all the conversations that are happening around you yeah. as one is listening to this and watching this on social media uh, a lot of people may resonate with the information and yeah. you taking time out and being here means a whole lot. This was supposed to happen yesterday, but you had a surgery that came about. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. So we, I think in our domains, we are so used to surgeries springing up at the last minute and I'm sorry I had to cancel because of a, an emergency, a surgical emergency that had come in. But yeah, that's just the part of the game. Yeah. And you manage saving a life and then being here. So... Yeah. Time is of so much a sense and we really appreciate the fact that you decided to spend time with us giving all this information. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, Shidam. Thank you for your time, for this opportunity. Really enjoyed this and I, and, you know, I look forward to collaborating in the future.